Method number one, ad hoc. So if this is just a one time, you want to open some data, you want to get it into jump, and you want to analyze it. There's really no reason to try and do this in a smart way. So what I would do is I would find your data. It's here on my desktop where it belongs. It's on cars. Open it up. I have it here in Excel. Then it, you need to go to the jump tab, which will be there when you install jump and go to preferences. And I've marked here that the first row is a column name. And when that is done, all you need to do is highlight your data. So I press control A, it highlights the data and I press the data table button. That will then import the data to jump and I'm ready to do my analysis. Method number two, which is slightly more sophisticated. And this what you do is you grab your data table and you drag it into an open jump window and you release it. That will give you the Excel import wizard. And in the Excel import wizard, you have multiple methods for adjusting your importation of this data. So if the ad hoc approach doesn't work, well, in the Excel import wizard, we can now work with this importation in more detail. There's another really nice added benefit to doing this with, which will come a little later. Um, but here again, you can work with the importation when you've done all your work and you can see that your preview looks fine. You go ahead and press import and that will give your data ready in, in, uh, in jump to do your data analysis. The difference between the ad hoc and this approach is that now we have a source button. This source button enables us that if any data changes happens to our data table, like we add more cars to the data, if I click the source button, that green button, it will look whether there's any new data available and it will import any new data. Method number three, the automated approach. So if an opposite to the ad hoc approach, if this is something you're going to be doing quite a lot, it's nice that you only have to do this importation once. So let's look at how to do that. When we used method number two, I mentioned that you get this source button. Now, if you right click on that source and you say edit, then you go right click, select all, right click, copy. I close it down again. I go to file, new script. I right click and I say paste. That is the script I need in order to import this data. So now I go file, save, I could say that this is my Monday morning script two. save. I close it down, I find it, and now I close the data. It is now Monday morning, I need to import my script. So I take it, I open it and jump, I click the green button, and it will then import this data. And if there's any new data available, that data will also be available to me. Now, I think this is a little clunky, so I'm just gonna share a tip that I think you feel is really nice. Um, another way to do this is you can right click Let's close this down. You right click in here, you say uh, customize, menus and toolbars. Then you right click on the last one, you see mine is called demo. You say insert after. And I can call this the Monday. I can call, call it whatever, it just makes more sense than Monday. So Monday, we'll go to the this one. And you see run this JSL. So if the script I copied from the source button, I put it there instead, paste. Now I need to first delete what's already there. I right click and paste. And I call this again, cars, cars, and I press okay. I can now go to my Monday and say, I wanna leave, let's close it down first. So I go to my Monday button, I press cars, and that will import the data from my desktop. I hope you found that useful. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe for more content like this. Catch you in the next one.